Picture an AI that doesn't just process your instructions, but can predict its future actions based on the environment, context, and the deep-seated nuances of your commands using both language and vision. Introducing Dynalang, the trailblazing new AI agent that's based on Google's Dreamer V3. Developed by an international team of researchers at UC Berkeley, Dynalang has already honed an uncanny ability to harness language and environmental cues to navigate the labyrinth of complex human interactions. But what can Dynalang do with this next-generation text and video understanding, and how does it predict future events? Before getting into that, it's important to note that Dynalang has also already developed impressive capabilities in comprehending both language and environmental cues. This breakthrough is largely thanks to its proficiency in predicting future outcomes, an advancement that has massive implications for the way humans will communicate with AI-powered bots. To frame this in perspective, today's common AI agents like Google's Palm Seikan can efficiently process simple commands like get the blue block. Nevertheless, they falter when faced with complex language situations that entail knowledge transfer such as the top left button turns off the TV or factoring situational information like we're running out of milk. Dynalang is designed to fill this gap. For instance, when it hears an instruction like, I put the bowls away, Dynalang will adjust its response based on the context of an ongoing task. This means it can distinguish between moving on to the next step during dishwashing and going to retrieve the bowls for serving dinner. In their research paper, the UC Berkeley team posits that language can effectively equip AI agents to anticipate future outcomes, including visual aspects, world responses and crucial situations. The end product of such training would be an agent capable of learning an environmental model via language and adjusting its responses accordingly. Dynalang's intelligence is rooted in Google DeepMind's Dreamer V3, which helps it digest visual and textual input and convert it into a common representation. This agent is hence trained to predict future representations based upon its activities. This methodology mirrors the training of large language models that are programmed to predict the next token in a sentence. Dynalang distinctly diversifies this concept by predicting future text and visual elements in tandem with rewards. This sets it apart from traditional reinforcement learning strategies, which primarily focus on predicting optimal actions. According to the research team, Dynalang's advanced capabilities allow it to draw out relevant data from texts and comprehend multimodal associations. For example, if Dynalang reads, the book is in the living room, and subsequently spots the book in that space, it will establish a correlation between the language and visual cues through their effect on its predictions. In trying to test the efficiency of Dynalang, the researchers evaluated it in several interactive settings characterized by different language contexts. These included simulated home atmospheres, gaming environments as well as realistic 3D house scans for navigation undertakings. Remarkably, Dynalang showcased an impressive ability to use language and image prediction to boost its performance in all tasks, often outpacing other AI architectures. To a further highlight its capabilities, the agent can also generate texts and read manuals to learn new games. In one particularly intriguing experiment, the researchers trained Dynalang using a petite dataset of short stories, which resulted in a marked improvement in the agent's performance. Even more impressively, Dynalang is also capable of being trained with offline data without any actions or rewards. This essentially means the agent can learn from textual and video data even if it wasn't deliberately collected during its environmental exploration. This capability to pre-train using videos and text without requiring any action or reward indicators points towards the potential that Dynalang can be scaled to support large web datasets. This can pave the way for the evolution of a self-improving multimodal agent capable of human interaction in practical world settings. Despite its impressive capabilities, the researchers acknowledge that there are a few kinks to be straightened out in the Dynalang program. For instance, its architecture leaves something to be desired in the creation of long-horizon environments. Additionally, while the text produced by Dynalang is passable, it falls short in comparison to larger language models. In conclusion, Dynalang represents an exciting step forward in the world of AI-driven conversational agents. Meanwhile, in a revolutionary new development, Chinese researchers have unveiled their latest creation, the open-source Tool Llama model, 
which can utilize over 16,000 APIs, making it on par with the capabilities of the ChatGPT model. But unlike ChatGPT, the advent of this groundbreaking AI tool heralds a new era for open source models, offering potential that was only available in closed source commercial offerings. Importantly, the functionality of Tool Llama is based on the workings of the Llama open source model. The Chinese team focused their efforts on training Meta's model using a superior quality dataset identified as Toolbench, which was auto generated via the Chat GPT. This gave birth to the highly specialized Tool Llama. Directions with related API calls from a whopping 49 categories make up the Toolbox dataset. Picture this scenario. You're arranging a movie night and need recommendations. Your query would entail finding the best U.S. romantic movies and potentially a perfect cozy venue close by. To solve such a request, the model has to accurately call the pertinent APIs, such as a movie search API and even a hotel search API. But how did they manage to build the marvel that is the Toolbench dataset? Cue the innovative technique known as Depth First Search Decision Tree, a mainstay in the creation process. This tool enables language models like GPT-4 to follow numerous search paths and deliver the optimal solution for any API request. Through conducting thorough experiments, the researchers demonstrated the clear advantage depth-first search decision trees hold over native models and other methods, such as the chain of thought reasoning in solving intricate tasks. Focusing on further improving Tool Llama's capabilities, efforts were deployed toward training a neural API retriever, this ingenious software automatically selects the relevant APIs for each statement from the astounding pool of over 16,000 APIs. Its integration with Tool Llama equates to an automatic pipeline for utilizing complex tools without the necessity for painstaking manual API selections. To gauge Tool Llama's capabilities, the brilliant team introduced an automatic model evaluator coined Tool Eval. This measures two pivotal indicators including the success rate, which is the capable completion of an instruction, and the win rate, which is the comparison of solution quality with current methods. Surprisingly, Tool Llama stands tall with an impressive success rate equaling that of ChatGPT, even though its training utilized significantly fewer examples. Furthermore, Tool Llama splendidly tackles unknown APIs through perusing their documentation, a tactic which even Google states is effective. In the grand scheme of things, the emergence of Tool Llama ushers in a new era in the open source AI world where much more is possible with the connection of these thousands of APIs, and as some researchers even believe that artificial general intelligence will be made possible with connecting blocks like Tool Llama, it looks like we're about to find out whether this expectation actually hold any promise. For now, only time will tell.